Hi, second grade, Miss Pritchard here, and today let's have fun with polygons. We're going to do a polygon review. So it's been a few six weeks since we've worked on shapes, so let's review some of our shapes. First, let's talk about polygons. Remember, a polygon is a closed figure with at least three sides where all sides are straight, no curves. For example, a circle is not a polygon because it does not have any sides and it has curved lines. Let's talk about the types of polygons. First one is the triangle. A triangle has three sides and three vertices. Let's talk about quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are polygons that have four sides and four vertices. There are many different types of quadrilaterals, so let's talk about a few. First, we have a square. A square is a special type of rectangle and a special type of rhombus. So let's look at a rhombus and a rectangle to see why it's a special type. A rhombus is a polygon that has four sides, four vertices, all sides are equal in length, but the opposite corners are equal. A rectangle is another type of quadrilateral, which has four sides, four vertices, but in this case, their opposite sides are equal in length, and they have four square corners. So a square is a special type of rectangle because it has opposite sides equal in length and it also has four square corners. But it's also a special rhombus because all the sides are equal and the opposite corners are equal. So it's kind of a mix of both. Next up we have is the pentagon. Our pentagon has five sides and five vertices. Now let's talk about the hexagon. The hexagon has six sides and six vertices. I like to remember this shape is called a hexagon because the number six, when spelled out, has an, the letter X in it. Also, the word hexagon has the letter X in it. So it's easy to remember that hexagon has six sides and six vertices. Next up is a heptagon. A heptagon has seven sides and seven vertices. Next up is a favorite of mine, an octagon. An octagon has eight sides and eight vertices. I can remember an octagon because I know that an octopus has eight arms and eight legs. Also, an octagon reminds me of a stop sign. Let's have some fun with shapes. The great thing about using polygons is you can build pictures from them. In my picture, I used a triangle, three squares, and two rectangles to build a picture of a house. Now it's your turn. Today's activity you're going to create a picture using four triangles, six quadrilaterals, and two hexagons. Now remember, a quadrilateral could be a square, a rectangle, a rhombus, it could even be a trapezoid. So remember, as long as it has four sides and four vertices, it's a quadrilateral. Create a picture, be creative. You can make any picture that you want but it has to have four triangles, six quadrilaterals, and two hexagons. Well, second graders, this was our last week of the learning boards. So we hope you have a great summer and best wishes in third, gr in third grade. Your second grade teachers love and miss you 
and we just want you to do your very best in third grade next year. Bye!